Hey guys, my name is Andrew, and I'm going to show you how to add a VST instrument track, such as Contact or Alchemy or Zebra, with one button in Cubase 8. So all I'm going to do now is press one button on my, I've got a touch OS template, and here we go. Found it, added it, pulled it up. So now I can, you know, select my instruments, do whatever I want to. I've also got this set up for my, one of my other synths that I use a lot called Alchemy. So I'm going to press that. Again, that was one button. Um, this is just a really quick way to add tracks. So, <laughs> how do we do this? Uh, there's not a direct feature for this in Cubase 8. First thing we're going to do is define a key command to bring up the instrument track. Uh, so if we go to File, Key Commands, and we want to find the folder right here. This is Add Track. Open that up and then instrument. So this is going to add an instrument track, whatever key we assign to it. So we're going to assign the D key. Just go over here, type D, assign it, click OK. And then what that'll do is when you press D, it'll bring up this little dialog box. Um, and in here you can select all their, your different VSTs. The problem is that when I'm here, there's no way to get through this dialog box with just the keyboard. If I tab, you see it just cycles back between these buttons right here, and it does not, there's no way to select this drop down menu without using the mouse. Uh, so here's the next part of that. How in the world do we get to Contact 5 or, you know, Alchemy, whatever synth you're using? The way we do that is we have to do a script. Um, so we're going to move over to uh, Auto Mouse Click, which is a free program you can download, and it will get the coordinates of any mouse point on the screen. So the first thing we're going to do is get the mouse cursor position. So we want to record a shortcut. I'm going to use the letter F. So I just press F right there. And then I'll go back to QAS8. And I'm going to bring up my dialog box. And I want to get the coordinates of this little drop down area right here. So I'm going to press the F key. And then if you move back over to auto mouse click, right here you'll notice that now it's got coordinates 951 and say roughly 368 in a notepad file or whatever you want <laughs> and we'll say 368 okay and then we can close auto mouse click now we don't need that anymore and then the second thing we're going to do is open up better touch tool this is also a free program you can download and what we're going to do is go over here and you would define your program first. You click this little plus button. It brings up a list of programs. Find Keybase, click open. That'll add it to the list right here. Next, we're going to select um, keyboard. So what we're going to do after we've clicked keyboard is we're going to define a keyboard shortcut to left click on the mouse for us. So if we'll click right here, we're going to put add new shortcut. And then we're going to come over here. We can say just say option, shift, Z. And then we'll come over here under Trigger Predefined Action. And then Mouse Click Options, we'll click that. And then we will hit the left click. So now when I hit Option Shift Z, it's going to left click um, for me. And that's only going to be active while I'm in Cubase 8. Um, I'm going to delete that one because I've already defined mine as, as Option Shift M up here. I'm sorry, Option Shift K. I lied. All right, <laughs> Option Shift K. Okay, so now that's done, uh, we will close Better Touch Tool, because otherwise it won't work, I don't think. And now we're going to uh, move over to Osculator. Uh, this program's not too expensive, it's 20 bucks, and it takes OSC messages from your Touch OS template and converts them to MIDI, or you can do keyboard commands, different things. And so in here, we're going to, we press our button on our template, identify it and then we're going to under event type we will choose apple script and under value well we will choose apple script and then we're going to click parameters uh, we're going to go into here and click the little plus button which will add a script like i've done here and then this is where you will paste the script uh, this script because it's long is on my blog uh, which is a text version of this tutorial um, Note that I'm using OSX Mavericks, and there's an issue I found out after some research with Apple Script where it does not recognize the uh, command line for uh, clicking the mouse at a specific point. 
So there is a little bit of Ruby Cocoa coating in here to get around that problem to have it move the mouse and then we're using Better Touch tool to click. Turn Yosemite or something earlier, uh, there's a simple command that just says click at and it gives you coordinates and you put that and it will click the mouse at that point. So anyway, so we've got the script. And so whatever you basically right here, whatever you have defined as your key command in Cubase 8 to bring up the add instrument track dialog box, you will change this line to that. In my case, it's the letter D. So I just put the letter D. <laughs> um, then we move down and uh, you notice early we had those coordinates um, we got from auto mouse click. Uh, like on our notepad file right here, we will, you will just change those to these right here. Uh, this can differ depending if you have two screens, if your screen resolution is set to smaller or larger. Um, this is on a MacBook uh, laptop and I've got it set to scaled like the highest resolution. Um, anyway, so that's the coordinates and then we're going to scroll down to the bottom and then uh, whatever you had set up to left click in Better Touch Tool, that's what you would enter here. Um, in my case, it's Shift, Option, and the letter M. Um, if it earlier, okay. And then right here on this line, uh, this is where you would tell it what to type in the dialog box when it's searching. So in my case, this script is for contact. So I want it to type contact in that box and then it's going to just hit enter twice to get through it. Um, so that's pretty much the script. So we're going to close that. We would just hit this little hammer to compile it. Um, and since it looks all good, we close it. You go right here and you would select the script. My, my case again is add contact. And then that's pretty much it. Like once you go into Cubase uh, and you've got Osculator running and Better Touch Tool is on, this will work. Um, so what I was talking about with the, basically what we're doing with that script is we're clicking right here and then we are, it automatically selects this box right here. So you can type. So that portion where, when I was talking about typing the name contact, you'll notice when I do that, um, contact comes up right here, contact five, that's the one I want. So if I press enter on the keyboard, it selects it. And then add track is already selected at that point. So if I press enter again, it's going to bring it up. Uh, so that's basically what the script is doing. Um, I know it's a little bit complicated, but once uh, you've got it set up, it's it's great for adding tracks. I just as soon as I say I want to add a contact track, um, you know, I, I'm pressing one key like this, and it does it. All right, so that's it. You'll see once again, I'm just pressing one button to add a track. And I think this is extremely helpful and a much quicker way to do this. So I hope that helps you guys out. <laughs>